Uh, your tweets tagging uh, Booking.com on Twitter and the direct posts on Facebook did not do any trick. That we uh, were, uh, it was almost three hours uh, since the issue started and we are waiting for a solution and that we are a family with a kid. Finally, after three plus hours of wait, we booked an apartment on our own and we have come to this nice little studio apartment as you can see. Uh, it costed us double but the facilities are really very good here. We have the self-check-in uh, system and to the right side you can see the lovely Alps mountains. Stay was wonderful and we loved it here. So after a relaxing night stay at Foxy Apartments in Obertown, the next morning we left Austria and we are on the way to Croatia and here we are back on the road. As you can see, on both sides of the road, there is just the greenery everywhere and it's so beautiful. I think you have also noticed the water droplets on the windshield of our car. Yes, it was raining and the weather was really cool. And uh, don't miss, look ahead, don't miss to see the ski lifts above. D did you see? They are used to transport the ski persons up on the mountain tops and they can ski all the way down. This place is really nice and I just love it and I want to come here once again and just stay in Austria and go nowhere else but just to see around that uh, country. And all the way from Austria to Croatia, my daughter was like, she looked out of the window and she was like, amazing, amazing. And I'm very happy that she's able to enjoy the nature as much as I'm doing. And yeah, this is nature in Austria for you guys. Austria is a country that is located between two mountain ranges of the Alps. It is located at the heart of Central Europe. The total distance of express highways in Austria is 2,179 kilometers, and out of which 344 kilometers, that's like 16% of the dis this distance, is in tunnels. There are charges collected from the tourists for the usage of the tunnels, and we have paid six euros and fifty cents for uh, for the usage of our tunnels on the way to Slovenia. So for this cost, I want to see how many tunnels we cross. This particular tunnel is tunnel 1 and is 6 kilometers long. Tunnel 2, 750 meters. It's amazing the way the eye adjusts itself when you come out of tunnels. And not just human eye, even cameras have the same problem. Too much light. Tunnel 3, 2 kilometers. Tunnel 4, 3.6 kilometers. Tunnel 5, 4.3 kilometers. Tunnel 7, 700 meters. Yes, I heard you. Tunnel 6 was very short of 250 meters and we couldn't make a video of it. And we drove a total of 17.6 kilometers across 7 tunnels for 6 euros and 50 cents. So here we are uh, on the way to Croatia. Uh, for uh, to reach Croatia, we must cross Slovenia, and uh, to use the Slovenian uh, highways, we need to buy this again the um, toll sticker. It's the same thing that we bought uh, to use the Austrian highways. Um, also, for the Austrian highways, uh, it costs for uh, for ten days. Uh, toll sticker it costs nine euros and fifty cents, and for the Slovenian uh, toll sticker, uh, the seven day toll sticker costs uh, fifteen euros. It's pretty expensive. But uh, to use the Austrian highways and when we need to cross the tunnels, we have to pay extra uh, fees of 6 euro 50 cents. I hope there are no such hidden costs in Slovenian uh, toll sticker. So this is how you stick the uh, vignet or the toll sticker from the inside of the win uh, car on the windshield. And then for the next 7 days, you can use the Slovenian highways and this vignette is very very important to use the highways what you're seeing ahead is a Karavanks tunnel or in german Karavanken tunnel uh, that it's a, mount, a motorway tunnel crossing the alpine Karavanks mountain ranges between austria and slovenia and has a length of 7.8 kilometers 
It was constructed between 1986 to 1991 and for the usage of this tunnel we had to pay an additional charges of uh, 7 euros and 60 cents. So this is where we enter Slovenia. On the either side of the road is River Sava which is 990 kilometers long. Unfortunately from our angle the river was not visible. This river flows through Slovenia, Croatia, borders of Bosnia, Herzegovina and finally feeds into the Danube river in Serbia. It's the third longest river in Europe and the largest tributary of River Danube. Wow man, just look at the traffic uh, in the opposite lane. As we entered Slovenia, this is the situation uh, of traffic in the, in the opposite lane. The traffic has been uh, built up and it showed a 3 hour delay and luckily our lane is free. Uh, though it showed a 40 minutes of delay, I think we are lucky enough to drive through and the poor opposite lane drivers, they have to wait uh, for a long time before they can reach their destinations. Republika Hrvatska vam želi dobrodošlicu. Republic of Croatia welcomes you. So guys, as you can see, we have entered Croatia and we are now going towards the passport control uh, office. Uh, actually, first we took the rightmost lane, uh, but that was actually the lane for trucks. We did not know it and there was this kind policeman who stopped our car and he diverted us to this lane. And now we are, we are on the right lane and uh, there, there are so many cars uh, ahead in front of us and we have to wait in the queue for our turn. So this is where they check the passport. If you want to enter Croatia, you need to get uh, passports checked and stamped and yeah, we are the next car. <laughs> After the passport control, we started uh, driving to apartment. We booked an apartment uh, near Pritvice Lakes National Park. And on the way, we found this interesting group of people who were dressed up in traditional costumes. They were singing and playing musical instruments. It was really interesting and beautiful to watch them sing. And they waved at us and we waved back. As uh, we were driving on the road, I couldn't get down and I couldn't record a video of it. And But I still managed to uh, take a picture of them. After a 5 plus hours of drive from Austria to Croatia, we have arrived finally at Plitvice, our apartment. It is called Apartment Nina and this is what the outside view looks like and there is this little flower uh, pots placed outside. So lovely. Come on, let me give you a tour of our apartment. So in this apartment, we would be staying for the next four nights and we enter the corridor and it leads, leads us to the hall, that's a living space and the dining area. And we have a kitchenette as usual because we have a kid with us. And look how neat it is maintained. And then we go to the balcony now. And here we spend most of the evenings sitting and relaxing and having a coffee. And that's our car we have parked over there. And going back and from the hall, we can see the bathing area. There's a bathing area and the toilet. And there are two bedrooms. So, yeah, it's very well organized. I love this apartment. Three countries in one day. And that was our story of breakfast in Austria, lunch in Slovenia, and dinner in Croatia. So, friends, in our next episode of Road Trip, we will see around the Lake Plitvice. Until then, it's yours lovingly, Pavi.